Hello and welcome back. We are here playing Victoria 3. We are going to be starting a new run as the Indian Territory, uh, which is a small landlocked nation that's never getting out. Um, the goal of this run is going to be the unique achievement for the Indian Territory. If you click Escape, you can click Achievements, you can click on Possible and scroll down. And here it is, American Territory starting out as Indian Territory, have USA as subject with no more than three states. Now it's also a fairly good country uh, for going enlightened despot because you start off with autocracy but presidential republic as well. And kind of a lot of this game is just waiting so what you can do is you can just not switch off of autocracy, keep it, and then eventually turn the lights on in order to get that achievement. Um, what we will be doing is building just super tall in the Indian Territory uh, in order to try and get this achievement. Uh, because this is the only territory we're going to have for quite a long time. At some point, we might try and turn a corner and go mass conscription to try and get 200 uh, units to be able to fight the United States. And this is kind of the overall game plan, and then we'll break them into a million pieces. Um, we can't declare any wars on ourself by ourselves because we are a puppet. So, like, plans of, like, oh, we're going to grab Texas, get out uh, into the rest of the world. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, so... This is kind of a bit of a rough start. Uh, as far as technology goes, we're gonna go we're going cotton gin into lathe, into atmospheric engine pump, into mechanical tools, into railroads. We will also be doing a trick for atmospheric engine. It procs an event chain that will give you either 2.5 or 3K experience or research towards railways. And what you have to do is you just have to have three profitable mines. So we will be going uh, into three coal mines. But what we will do is we will do two logging camps to start. And then you'll notice we have four infrastructure. Once we put down the decree, we'll have a total of five. And so we will go two logging camps and three coal mines. And I know what you might be thinking. That equals six when you figure in the cotton plantation. We will be deleting the cotton plantation as soon as we finish the logging camps. Now on the logging camps, it's important to note, right now they're owned by shopkeepers who are going to be primarily petite bourgeoisie. If we just swap this over, now they're owned by the capitalists. If the only buildings we have are owned by capitalists, and we only have one building and we're going to delete it once the logging camp finishes, we will get a ton of clout on our uh, industrialists very, very, very quickly. Now, as far as authority goes, we're, how we're going to spend it is we're first going to bolster the Unholy Alliance of the Intelligentsia and the um, industrialists. I'm just checking that's unfortunate this is a, not a very good modifier to get at the start the minus 10 legitimacy uh and the prestige this guy this ruler is not very good specifically you can re-roll for a better ruler if you want um i don't think uh this level of min maxing is necessary but this is not a very min maxed uh like role in terms of that ruler and what we will be doing is we will be kind of just waiting for that to finish and we will be putting in the decrees now as far as decrees go we are going to want to encourage resource industry and we are going to eventually swap to encourage manufacturing once we actually have some manufacturing we want to promote social mobility and also have road maintenance now the big reason for the road maintenance is the construction efficiency but also since we're only going to have one state for a long while we're going to have to build a ton of railroads this 25 percent infrastructure is going to save us a ton on subsidies overall uh, i can't believe i think on the game release you couldn't have multiple decrees in one state now i've discovered you can have a ton in one state so this is what we're going to do to build really tall and to make this pop off um now a lot of this is just waiting, so we're just going to go speed 5. We are going to go into the taxes, and we're going to lower taxes to 0, because we can't generate enough revenue to add construction, so we're just going to be accumulating gold for a while, so we might as well, you know, have the extra legitimacy and faster law passing for quite a while. Um, you're going to watch these industrialists pop off really, really fast, and the landowners collapse completely as soon as we delete that cotton plantation and finish this logging camp. And so that's going to be big ups for us. Uh, we'll just ignore it. And the logging camp finishes. We delete that. Everyone's really mad because they all got fired. Uh, but they can eat a shoe. And we're at 38 and 0. And now we just play a little bit of the waiting game. Uh, it's going to happen very quickly. I'm going to like tab out. Uh, speaking of, let's go in the outliner and... Put a pin in these guys so they are in the outliner so we could just watch it from here um 38 they're already down to 35 oh they're back up to 37 i take it all back 
but this place is employing it's not fully employed it is profitable as the profits go up the that's when you start seeing a lot of the enrichment you see the industrialists start up from zero and they're cranking up real fast as soon as <laughs> as soon as they get into like the 20s ish which they will quite quickly here um, what we will be able to do is we'll be able to put them in government and start passing a bunch of reforms that they like. Not too, too many, because uh, something that can happen is you can provoke a revolution, which is going to be really bad. Even though the United States will take care of the revolution for you, it's something to still be avoided here. And so we're going to try not to do that. You also can't side with the other side of the revolution, otherwise it would maybe make sense to provoke a revolution to get rid of the landowners or something. Except we can get rid of the landowners like this. Look. They're already down 10%. Um, now, we are going to actually want to juggle these coal mines. And when I say juggle, we're not going to want to finish any of them until we get atmospheric engine pump. And we're doing this for government. We're doing this for clout reasons. But we want to get all the progress on the construction. So as one is about to finish, we just poop, send it to the bottom of the queue and start working on another one. This way, we empower the industrialists as fast as possible. Um and the intelligentsia, and don't accidentally empower. Ooh, this is nice that we're getting a freedom of conscience event. We can maybe actually just do that right now. If we click reform government and do one of these. Nope. Nope, nope. Guess it's not happening. Not yet. Soon, though, we will be trying to push through as many laws as we can without radicalizing a really powerful rural folk block. Now you notice the industrialists are up to 25% from zero and the landowners are down to 18%. This might be the threshold where we can do this and we are acceptable. So we will do that. And now we can go into laws and start passing laws. Now we can do that. We can get off of autocracy and onto a different one of these. And this is pretty early for being able to do it. I like the plus two government size allowance. I think this will allow us to pass laws really quickly. It'll give a lot extra political strength to aristocrats, of which we have none now that we've deleted that cotton plantation, and gives minus two ideology penalty. We're gonna be able to do so much under oligarchy with our current setup. So we're gonna actually go oligarchy very first. And this will be good. The only downside of oligarchy for us is going to be the landowners are going to still be in government. Unless it automatically swaps them out for an industrialist, which I don't think it will. So we're going to do oligarchy first. We could do something that reforms our economic system, but our economy is so small at this juncture that even if we switch, like, laissez-faire, it's really not that big a deal. Positive deal yet. Alright, so we're going to go atmospheric engine. I have to try and make sure we juggle these, so I'm going to juggle one down. Um, once the atmospheric engine pump finishes, then we can start finishing some of the coal mines. We just don't want to finish all three of the coal mines because we don't want to pop the event until we have mechanical tools. And so this is kind of like a little bit of a nitpicky like way of micromanaging it. But yeah, we could see it's generally kind of hard to go up the river, I guess. And so going from... Landed voting to oligarchy is a little bit harder than going f straight to oligarchy. Or actually, that's kind of the, one of the easier ones. But aside from that, so now we want to open the borders. And the rural folk are pretty weak, but they are going to radicalize off of this. So can we do interventionalism? Or let's do... Rural folk will also... We could go religious schools. Why don't we... We're going to do this... Because this will radicalize the evangelical church. The evangelical church is going to get really weak. And this will give some cooldown period uh, for the landowners and the other guys to, you know, kind of chill out a little bit. While we generate, while we try and avoid too many radicals. Eventually you can get too many radicals. You start getting turmoil, which starts interfering with the infrastructure. with something to be avoided. This is nice. That's a nice little bonus for us right now. We are unfortunately going to need to figure out a way to get a little bit more authority. We're just going to roll with this negative right now. I'm going to have to juggle these a little bit micromanagey. So we're going to kick the almost done one to the top, and we're just going to take. We're going to watch it by hand, I guess. And then once it gets really close, we'll kick it to the bottom, and then worry about the other ones. And this way... National Militia is supported... Anti-clericalism is necessary. National Militia is supported, importantly, by... 
if we take a look here, they are supported by the peasants, so this would make the peasants happier. The peasants are kind of getting down to low clout zone, though, which is where we want them. Time to play the watching game. Radicals from discrimination, or we make the landowners pissed. I think we just make the landowners pissed. They're going to be kind of pissed. It's a cooldown timer. It's not a permanent pissedness, so... Uh, kind of okay with it. Now, we are going to continue juggling just to handle the infrastructure, but also make use of our construction while we are doing this until we get railroads is kind of the big thing. That's going to be when big changes happen, and we just finish, like, 15 buildings at once. The economy is going to explode. People are going to be very happy. We're going to get a ton of migrants. It's going to be good. Opposition puts forth demands. I think we acquiesce. We also, let's see if we can put them in gov now. We can. So this will even make us more legitimate. Ah, because we have the plus two size, which is very nice. Uh, let's actually, you can be pretty bolstered on your own. Uh, we were going to swap over, but I forgot. Uh, we do have less authority. So we'll just keep that for now. Industrial barriers. We will not take anything that increases, decreases industrial throughput. So we will just have this. We will get freedom of conscience most likely on the next tick. Let's have a watch of this. And we will just continue juggling. Let's juggle this one until it's almost done. And then swap over. And we are doing this because we don't want to empower the petite bourgeoisie for a little bit. Um, once we finish the tech, then we will be able to switch the PM over. We get freedom of conscience, which means we can do the relatively neutral law of going for... Oh, we can't do private schools yet because we don't have the tech. I forgot we don't start off with a lot of techs. But, let's see, we can do guaranteed libs right now, because we start off with rights of assembly. So let's do guaranteed libs, which is going to help a lot long term uh, for managing radicalism, and it doesn't piss anyone off. And then we can do the economic laws. Ec economic laws are the more important laws, but they're not important right now, because we don't really have that many buildings. Oop. And we are going to want to kind of try and specialize a little bit in tooling and uh, clothing. And we will juggle these tooling workshops as well. Uh, why don't I just kick these to the bottom? Big brain hour here. Law enactment. National militia is not terrible because we aren't going to be fighting. It would take us off of peasant levies. Alright, so now that we finish this, we will go mechanical tools, which thank God is not spreading. So now we can finish two coal mines and go into the coal mines and switch them over from picks and shovels, which if you notice, shopkeeper owned, to atmospheric engine pump, privately owned. So we will finish two of those quickly. And we will take the manufacturing income for ourselves, obviously. Uh, well, actually, the industrialist bonus is really good. Let's see how happy they are with us right now. Yeah, we can take the malice, so we'll take that. And so now we have two coal mines employing up. This should kick up the standard of living quite a bit. Once this finishes, we will finish the third coal mine so we get the event. And it is not spreading to us as well, which is a little bit of luck, because we will be getting railroads a little bit ahead of schedule. The trade unionists are now somewhat powerful. Try to keep an eye on this. We do not want to finish the building, because then we will have an infrastructure problem. We can afford the bureaucracy hit. We have a ton of bureaucracy. Now, what we don't want is, notice we're using six of five. Oh, well, the coal mines use two apiece? That's not ideal. Uh, well, we're still going to be finishing the sixth coal mine. I thought they were just one apiece, but... Okay, we're going to be in for a little bit of discomfort. But that is the point, 
is that we are running a infrastructure malice, so we have less market access. We have a 6% malice, so it costs us more for all the goods. We do get mech tools, so we will be finishing this coal mine reluctantly. We'll kick this to the bottom of the queue just so we don't accidentally do it. And now we'll go railways. The big one. These should be able to fully employ despite the fact that we are overbuilt. Um, but if they can't, we will just delete some logging camps and that'll be fine. We do have a rev brewing. They want to ban slavery. Well, I'm more than happy to ban slavery once we guarantee these libs. Uh, if this somehow, like, really pops off, we will just switch over if we have to. But I would like to try and get this enacted first. We can afford this. But it does create increased radicals, so... I'm definitely keen on abolishing slavery pretty soon here, if we can. The rural folk are pretty strong as a group. Cross-border investments. We'll inspect. The industrialists are not as happy with us anymore, so we will just give them an excellent investment. Although, yeah, their bonus is not it's too, too important right now. Yeah, a politician died. He must have been the industrialist, and now he must be a different IG that is not as happy with us, because when we last checked, he was pretty happy. Yeah, now we have a jingoist. Which, uh, probably not happy about some of our stuff. We can ban slavery in just a second here. The landowners are very, very weak. And this, importantly, will make the, the rural folk happy, so... Let's go. Oh, come on. We're going to take the enactment time here. Now, got to make sure we do not finish any of these tooling workshops. We aren't getting the event firing, so unfortunately what we will have to do is we're going to... Ooh, we can't delete a log camp because we have the rev brewing. So what we will do is, I guess we will wait until we get um, guaranteed libs passed. And then we will be able to delete one of these and get... Hmm... Well, the whole point of doing it like this was to make it faster, but if we can't do that, we can't make it faster. <sighs> Hopefully we get this here. This is decaying. It's decaying to zero. Because they're not so mad anymore, so maybe we will get it. We get guaranteed libs. Let's abolish slavery. No one opposes it anymore. This should be painless to pass, and it should make the rev disappear quite quick. And we have a little bit of extra authority. I think I'm fine with just keeping it to increase the speed at which we are getting things. People gotta know about his depravity. Make this group weaker anyways. National militia is not terrible. are going to want some steel mills. We're just going to kick that to the top of the queue in case we actually need the steel mills to... I think we should be able to get the engines from the, the US, but... I guess we don't want pop attraction for the rural folks, so we'll just do this. That's a lot on the Great Sioux Kingdom. I'm sorry to see you go, my brother. Now, can we do this? No, not really. But pretty legitimate here with the oligarchy and still getting a lot of, uh... It's working out pretty well for us right now. Once this rev disappears, we will delete one of our logging camps. Yeah, yeah, I know. We don't have any urban centers, otherwise we would do stuff to increase demand, but we don't have it. Um, well, we don't want them becoming more powerful, so we'll just take this. Kind of cruising here. 
I'm pausing a little bit more than I did in some of my practice runs. And we get slavery banned. So now we can delete this and they will employ here. Hopefully... We're actually going to swap off of this to Academia, because we are just going to get the tech once they fully employ. Yes. And we're going to go Romanticism, so we can encourage migration here. Do you need to build up full reserves? Let's just double check the journal, the atmospheric engine. Cash reserves greater than 25%. All right, we're about to proc it here. We'll do this. We're going to make them happy in just a sec. Ooh, let's do it right now, actually. What am I doing? We're going to go laissez-faire. The U.S. is bankrolling us. Fantastic. I mean, they're also taking our money, so... You know, they're giving our money back to us. Huge standard of living spike. People are really happy. Things are good. Why haven't you fired? It's really not 25%. Come on. Get there. We want our railroads. We need our railroads. Cool. And here we get 2.5k on railroads, which gives us railroads. Now we get to build the railroads. And so before the railroads, we will do a construction center, and we will likely be deleting this construction center at some point, but we will be using it for a little while. Now, just a single construction center. All right, we already have our tech lined up and all of this lined up. We'll get laissez-faire. We're gonna put the stuff that's almost done closer to the top. And then after all this finishes, we will probably, here, let's get all of our stuff set up in terms of PMs. We will switch railroad transport on those on pretty quickly, pretty early. We can do laws. So let's see, I think that, yeah, so once you have laissez-faire, very importantly, then you can get per capita taxation. So we might even be able to support this construction. We will see. Uh, we, of course, will switch it on too. Wait, why can't we switch this? What? We have, we need urban planning. Fair enough, I guess. Now, uh, we will try and keep this above 50, so we have a contested government, but we will raise this two notches to help pay for it. We will add a consumption tax. I think alcohol, no, nope, tobacco pays the most. It's close, though. Liquor will help force people off of the uh, rural areas. And now we can afford to build at this rate for quite a while. We have a gold reserve of 117k, and so this is good. Death and taxes, those are certain. We'll take the enactment chance. And the boyo dies. We're using seven of six on the infrastructure. We will put these on auto expand now. And all these on auto expand as well. Just in case we flub construction a bit. Although we are going to try and be micromanaging pretty closely our infrastructure and making sure we're not losing access to the market as a consequence of being overbuilt for our infrastructure. Now, I believe once we finish this tech, we are going to get we are going to get rid of this decree or this uh, consumption tax that's really not generating us a lot of money. And instead, we are going to put down a decree for greener grass campaigns. So it is the fully decreed... Oh baby, look at this. All of the decrees all the time. And then I think we go towards uh, egalitarianism, so we're just gonna research a bunch of level one texts here. I think we do colonization first, because it looks like we might be able to get a little bit more dirt. 
Hopefully. We'll see. Now, here we might just get annexed. Which is how this rolls. Um, it's very volatile. Uh, Mexico. Let's see. Is any of this us? Turn California, Arizona. No, that's theirs. Okay. So none of us are in there. We will take the one that makes people happy. Let's double check. We do have... Yeah, let's increase this to max. It's very cheap. Don't have to pay a lot for it. We would be more legitimate if... No, no. Ah, if we put in the rural folk, I guess. Kind of don't want to do that yet. Who is... Yeah, this guy's still a landowner, so we could just... Keep the landowner in Gov. Ah, that doesn't work for us. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to finish all these. Let's check how much infrastructure we have. We can build 21 more, so we can build 7 manufacturers. So let's put the 7 we want in. This doesn't make money yet. Fair enough. I'm trying to think what 7 we want. Probably something like this. We do want to abuse economies of scale bonuses, so... Why don't we just do... We have 4 in the queue right now. Why don't we just do... One more of each of these. Something like this. Or let's do a furniture manufactory. And then another tool and another steel. And then we want another railroad. And then after the railroad finishes, maybe motors. This seems fine. Once another couple of these finish, we will actually, just to not, to avoid it, forgetting we're gonna switch off encouraging resource and switch on encouraging manufacturing and we are going to have to delete the construction center soon here that's okay not a big deal wages are pretty high probably gonna delete it when this next tooling workshop finishes if we get per capita taxation maybe we won't have to delete the construction center uh, but we will go Let's see. Ah, oh, so many options now. I think we'll go for private schools. Now, private schools does not give as much access to schools unless you're above a certain point, but it will give the most when you are super chalked up, which is what we are looking to be. Our standard of living is probably going to get really high as we siphon off pops from the United States, so we might even be able to kindly ask them if we can get independence and then conquer a big chunk of Mexico or something like this. Like in the long run, I don't know what the super long run looks like for this run. Um, but just some thoughts. Yeah, we can swing this for a little bit. Not too, too long, I don't think. You're not that profitable, though. Why not? You have huge throughput bonus. Also, trade unionists are happy, which is quite good for us. They give really good bonuses. They'd be more acceptable like this. We'd be only contested. Hmm. We'd... I don't think... Let's just put him in for now, just so we're regular contested. We will give them a little bit more attraction for now. I think this is kind of the point where we're going to be wanting to switch off of the industrialists a little bit and pull back their clout to... You know, around 18% is where we want to keep it, so we keep the job creator bonus, which is really nice. But we want to try and move more towards the trade unionists and the intelligentsia here. The intelligentsia we want to get over 20, but as soon as we build our first union, we should kick them over. Let's double check. We get our first urban center. Hiya. Free churches, of course.
we do have looks like we might oh no the US got the rest of that all right unfortunate but we did need to research a lot of these tier one techs before we go egalitarianism anyway so let's go stock exchange private schools very nice we can switch to pro army now that we have the military in here we do want to get on appointed bureaucrats and this makes nobody mad so probably gonna do that we're just gonna take a quick look long term i think we might want to be on elected total separation would be nice Property in women is very nice, and this is kind of easy to pass right now, so we're going to go for it. Because all of our pop growth is going to be from immigrants anyways. So. Or most of it. From the United States. Let's also expand schools to max. Intelligentsia are strong, we will be getting more migration attraction, which is a huge modifier, in addition to uh, the cheaper tech. So we definitely want to keep them, these two powerful, but we also want to get the uh, trade unionists powerful and happy. Which is a little bit of a task, but you know, it is what it is. Um... We'll just piss them off. They're going to be so bad already, but um, when this guy dies, hopefully soon, Mr. President, he's only 41 now, then they will be out of power completely. They have zero clout. Yeah, so. Mm, we got to delete this construction center, though. I don't want to run this for longer. So we'll wait until we're about to be running a gold, uh, stockpiling gold. Abolitionist, trade unionist, and intelligentsia and moderate. I guess I don't really care if either one of these dies. I don't want them, I don't want to ban dueling. I'll just go let them fight. Well, the intelligentsia got dies, I guess. Now it's a moderate. Fair enough. You give property to women. It's nice. Now we can probably go plenty of bureaucrats. Which is of course opposed by the landowners which are non-existent. Fortunately, US is not losing this war to Mexico which can sometimes result in our uh, untimely demise. Kind of hoping we get the event where they give us a university. Kind of don't want to build a university ourselves. Can we turn on rails yet? We can. Which is a labor saving PM. Oop, I forgot we got this. Also a labor saving PM. Generally, we want to use the labor saving PMs. Because labor is going to be what's expensive in our market. We only have a population of 140k. We get appointed bureaucrats. Fantastic. So. Hmm. Oop. Do want to go total sap. Kind of want to float this authority for a little while longer though. So why don't we go local police force for now. Change. Very nice. <clears throat> now do we have all the tier 1 techs? No, not quite. So we're going to go medical degrees and then egalitarianism. 
And what this will do is it will allow us to go for multiculturalism, which is what we want. And then we will switch back to production techs. We are trying to maximize the immigration we're getting from the United States, so this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Uh, we're just going to look at the approval. We want to float a large amount of approval. Let's go egalitarianism. Kind of tempted to take the 25% because there's other laws we want to pass. And then if we brick this law, we'll just pass a different law. So we're going to do that. And we brick it and we'll just pass a different law. Instead. Go professional army. Yeah, it's important to emphasize, you know, kind of, I guess, what we're doing here is we're trying to get huge throughput bonuses on the American economy and just supply them with all the industrial goods that they're possibly going to use. And then, in order to facilitate that, we are using all of these. Greener grass campaigns makes more people come, plus 50% migration attraction, which is going to make labor cheaper. Social mobility is going to give extra education access and qualifications, which is going to help with our literacy, which is going to further help us um, get more tech and be ahead of the game. This is probably the least important one. Encouraging manufacturing, this 20% uh, throughput bonus is huge. And road maintenance makes it so we don't have to build as many railroads, so we don't hemorrhage as much money uh, to the railroads. Eventually, when we get electrical railways, also we will get the double in your capital, the infrastructure, which between the two of those, we won't have to build very many railroads at all. Oop, let's turn this on the way we want. Uh, let's see if we can make the government more legitimate. Not really. Or not at all. Eventually we want to try and do something like this, I think. And have the trade unions powerful, if possible. But this is going to be a little bit of a weird slash tough ask. We get pro army on the 10%. Lucky us. And so we will be going... I think free trade now while well, we wait for the cooldown on which I think police is the one we abandoned we also can go total separation here which of course we will lose a hundred authorities so kind of why we're avoiding it for now Let's eat the extra radicals from discrimination. We have 50 radicals. I think we can I think we can allow a little bit more discrimination. Because our standard of living is so high. Because we are becoming the manufacturing capital of the United States. As it was in history. In Oklahoma, the natives built the engines. Wait a minute. That's not the history I remember. All these lucky ticks, man. Guess we can do local police again. I guess we will do local police. Let's check our institutions. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, long term... We're off to a good start, but long term this is still... We're still... Can't declare war on Mexico to take their land. And really can't fight the US. And so we're in a spot where it's like... Just kind of looks like you can't do anything. Um, except expand construction. I think we can afford this now. So we're going to try and get it through. It will add... See, the thing is, is like, standard of living informs government wages. And so having a high standard of living makes construction expensive. Uh, from the perspective of not only... Or of not the goods, but from the wages. Which is one of the reasons pulling this down by bringing in migrants is one of the reasons we're encouraging the migration, of which we have several bonuses. So if we take a look here, 
We have really high attraction. We have 50% from Green Grass campaign. We're also still sparsely populated, which is nice. And 50% from the Intelligentsia. So our migration attraction is 50, which is quite high. And the average in the American market is 18. So we're just sucking off their pops. We get urban planning, which means that on the construction center, we can actually turn on iron frame, which we will do. Considering most of the price is in the high wage, not the price of the goods. Well, we'll take the loyalists because we don't want the land owners. Actually, we probably should have taken the other one because giving them plus 20% pop attraction is probably irrelevant when they're at point one clout. And we are kind of supporting this construction, but we are draining the investment pool pretty quick and it will be empty soon. So we can't do it quite yet. Yeah, our businesses are not profitable enough to be able to eat the cost, you know, of all that. But we're trying to get there. I guess this looks like it's doing pretty hot. And these feed off of each other, so that's nice. The steel makes the tools cheaper. The tools use the steel, which drives up the price of steel, which makes the steel more profitable. Nice little tandem we got going on. And hopefully the United States exports a bunch of tools. That's what we want they, them to export the finished good. We get police force, so we are cranking. Wow, are we really already almost there? We're going to go total sap now. I don't think we have a consumption tax, so we are going to have to drop, I think probably the bolstering of the intelligentsia is what we're going to ditch. And then we will also get consumption tax. And we will get to keep all of our edicts, which maybe we can't keep long term. I think I'd rather keep the edict than bolster or suppress an interest group, like specifically. And now that our investment pool is drained, we are having a huge deficit, so we might have to delete this construction center at some point. You need labor, you need labor. Fair enough. Dun 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 Once we get total separation, the evangelical church will basically entirely disappear, which will be nice for pumping up the cloud of everyone else. Why are you so powerful, though? Don't think you own the buildings. I think we can raise taxes a little bit here. We will still be contested either way, and this will help throttle this a little bit, because we're starting to run away with things, and so this will... Hopefully be pretty good. I think we're fine with them being more popular. They're already powerful, but they'll stay more powerful. The duel. Alright. Modern intelligentsia? Yeah, let them fight. Whoever died, another moderate filled their place, so... Truly politics, right? We get egalitarianism, so we're gonna swap back over to text over here. And we're gonna go for mechanized workshops. Because mechanized workshops is the truth. And then we'll probably go steel railway cars, rotary valve engine, electric. Just be mostly an industry, because this is really what all we're doing is the industry for quite some time is where we're gonna be. Pretty good connections, you're telling me. Well, we don't care about the evangelicals because they are about to disappear entirely. Hmm. What are you... Okay, we're just got to do prioritize non-luxury clothing. We'll expand this a little bit. Because the U.S. cannot acquire silk, unfortunately. Despite us demanding it fiercely for some time now. Um, normally the AI will start importing it from somewhere if they can. 
But maybe they just don't have an interest in a region where it has it. And I don't think they'll go out of their way to declare an interest, like in China or something. Which would be a lot of convoys for them anyways, so that's fair enough. We get total separation, and now we have this thing going on, as we talked about. I think we can stop bolstering the intelligentsia at this point, and we can put in a consumption tax to maybe support the amount of construction we have, you know, on a longer term basis. I guess we put it on furniture. Could just go for passing laws faster, but we almost have all the laws we want, so... Um, we do want to go multiculturalism, though, to attract more migrants. Very, very powerful mechanic migration. Been messing around with the Armenia run, trying to see if we can attract migrants despite discrimination, and it is, uh... <coughs> not as good. Loyalists are coming down. That's unfortunate. Is this coming down? I don't think so. I think it's just flattened out. Pop is growing, though, which we love to see. Economy in general. Struggling a little bit. We are encouraging manufacturing. Ooh, we lost the bonus from the trade unions, who are now a little bit mad at us. And we're now unacceptable, which is why we're running the penalty. <clears throat> this is the most legitimate government we can run. So we will keep running it. We don't want the throughput because we don't want to get it hamstrung randomly. We'll take the steel rail cars. Which are going to be good long term. We're just taking a look around, seeing what's profitable. We want to focus on that generally. We are kind of wishing we had the, the trade unionist bonus for the 10% workforce ratio or the manufacturing industry's throughput bonus. Both of these are quite good. But we will be able we will be building up tall regardless, so we will keep on constructing. <clears throat> Even though we're losing a lot of money here. We're paying quite a bit on the subsidies on the railroads. So let's see. I don't think we have much rural stuff to swap over. Yeah, so we can't really drive up the demand for um the transportation very easily ourselves unless we wanted to build a bunch of cotton plantations ourselves well we have enough authority here so we'll just take that oh it minuses the flat and then our percentage yuck gross uh, so minus 50 flat which then our percentage is no longer applying to so minus 55 in actuality I think we have enough that we can yeah, we have enough approval that we can do this. Actually, that was maybe not a good move, because I think we are going to try and go for proportional taxation soon enough, which the industrialists do not like us doing. Yeah. But we should be getting a lot more pops pretty soon here, once we get the multiculturalism going. Because I think that, as far as discrimination goes... Uh, we are Cherokee, and, uh, the people we are trying to pull from the United States are decidedly not Cherokee, so, I think this is a big one. I mean, it's possible we could go censorship, that's not insane. Trade unionists don't like it. Because, I mean... We're going to have really high literacy anyways, and this might be... We're going to lose out on tech spread, sure, but we get some authority. Man, it's probably not worth it. We probably just stay oligarchy in order to reap some authority and not go with that. Although, maybe staying on rights of assembly is appropriate instead of going pro-speech. And then we have total separation, guaranteed lives. All this is kind of where we want it, except eventually I think we want mass conscription. We do want a health system. Can't pass private health insurance right now. Are we illegitimate? No. Oh, you've changed, my friend. You got popular figurehead. Oh, you got a lot of... Got a lot of popularity there, my friend. 
Um, oh, we might not have... Yeah, we don't have pharmaceuticals. Fair enough. Let's take a look at the institutions we do have. Oh, wait, what? We did want to switch to dedicated police force, so let's do that. And since Mech Knight's Workshops is finishing next, we will want to get on to more of clothing. Let's just double check the infrastructure. Oh, we have so much excess infrastructure. We can even turn on wooden passenger carriages because we don't we aren't using all the infrastructure, which is gonna make the swap to steel a little bit easier on us. And it should decrease the amount we're paying in the, the subsidies as well. And okay, we get less infrastructure, but we're not using it all right now. And we're gonna be on steel pretty soon here anyways. Yeah, we're going to go mechanical into nitroglycerin, and then steel rail cars, so, as far as tech goes. Discord within the trade unions. Really don't want to weaken them, so we'll just take the extra enactment chance. This is starting to climb up, which hopefully drives this up a bit more, or it drives it up faster, we'll see. That is mainly what we're gated by, is our ability to attract pops. My kingdom to suck off some pops. Um, does this take... So this we cannot ever click. Minus 50%. So. Manufacturing throughput. That is not a, a button we click. That is a forbidden button. But you see we're getting economies of scale bonus. Now we're getting 4%. Economies of scale bonus will go all the way up to 50%. And so when you build your 51st building, it's the equivalent of like two buildings because you're getting the 50, the 150% from the, the first building plus the throughput bonus and an additional 1% on all the previous 50 buildings. So it's effectively worth 150 buildings. So as you approach 51 buildings, it becomes more essential, mathematically speaking, to finish off uh, the 51 cap, but when you are kind of low, it's less important, but we are going to try and get there. Popular playwright one event is great. We take the prestige. Mexico backs down against the US. Perfect. Love to see it. Do not love to see our run getting randomly clapped by Mexico conquering us, which has happened. So, not ideal. Uh, we could... Could, could, could lower taxes to make this a little bit more legitimate here. Blink. Which puts us over this contested government line. Expensive military goods. Are we really paying for... Oh my god. I'm, I feel dumb for not checking this. No, no, no. We're not paying for anything. Yeah, I, I thought at the start we didn't have any conscription centers, which we don't. Yeah, we don't. We should be siphoning off pops real fast here. Somehow it's just constant. Is it like a minimum threshold and then you just get... I think they can't... Oh, well, whatever. We should have accepted that. I don't think they can use the obligation for anything. Or we should have paused. I mean, I kind of want to increase the taxes back. Let's do that. We're not really trying to push through laws fast, and we want to hold on to this construction center a little while longer. I think we're going to delete it once we finish this textile mill here. Which, okay, I understand that they're not profitable at employing now, and I guess maybe with the lack of craftsman sewing, like, maybe we should not be pushing them as hard. Boiler explosion. I think we'll take this, because we do want them to get more powerful, and we do want their bonus. So, their bonus is really good. So we want to get them powerful and then get a bonus, and then get them in government for a weird uh, oligarchy party. With the trade unions involved. I mean, they want landed voting. We could eventually maybe swap to that. Maybe this oligarchy is a bit optimistic. I want to stick on it for now, though. 
I think eventually we might, we not, might not be able to swing it as much. It is nice to just be able to, like, just put our boys O's in government. We don't even have the head of state in government. If this guy dies and we get, like, an industrialist, it's going to be so easy to have high legitimacy. Because of the way it's calculated. I think that we're kind of set, except for maybe we want to go poor laws. Um, let's just go poor laws for now. And we finished... So we're going to delete our construction center and uh, 5k are unemployed from the deleting of the construction center. And now they've all found employment. So this is going to crank up. Employment cranks up. Everything's good. And we are about to finish mechanics, mechanical workshops, which primarily give you stuff for the textile mills. And it makes you very, very efficient. So that is why we are building the textile mills when they're not that profitable in anticipation of finishing this law. And this should have dip when we delete the construction center, because that's actually a pretty big chunk of our economy at this point. Getting a lot of approval from these guys, though. They want to take on our debt. We're going to say yes this time. I don't think they can use it to annex us. And we're a puppet, so they can't puppet us more. Uh, we are going to wait until we build up a reserve before building a construction center, but that's going to be the plan. And we're going to go nitroglycerin. Just so we don't run the malice. Uh, yeah, so if you are... If you have a bunch of tier 2 techs unresearched, it will give you a malice to the tier 3 techs. So generally, you kind of want to finish them all off. Unless you have a very specialized strategy that involves rushing something. I think I'll just take, uh, well, we'll take them being powerful for now. We are, we do kind of want to bring the trade unionists up and then in, but they're going to be inconsistent ideology-wise. Let's just double check our infrastructure here. Yep, we got 11 more to go. We will make them more trade unionist -y. And then we are going to build... I think we can build one more and then we need to build a railroad. Oh, we forgot to turn on this stuff. Sewing machines and mechanized looms. And now this place should employ pretty quick. And then after that, I think we need a railroad. We have, let's see, three buildings. So that's going to be nine infrastructure cost. And we have here nine exactly available so we will need the railway after this and then we can build anything we want see the profitability the, or the productivity just shoots up when we enable those so these three i like to have together quite a bit the furniture manufacturer we also have mechanized for this <clears throat> Yeah, nitroglycerin, steel railway car, rotary valve. Actually, rotary valve engine might be insanely good for us right now. We might go rotary valve engine first. How much are we paying on this subsidy? Quite a lot. That's most of our cost. We are just paying bleh, the United States. Bleh, a big chunk of our income. Big sad. This isn't accelerating as much as I wanted it to. Despite our really high standard of living, but that is giving us a ton of like uh literacy. Or the cause we have private schools, it's giving us a ton of like uh education access. I'm gonna go rotary valve engine. I think it's gonna be really good. Because it's a labor saving PM. Labor is our th like throttle right now, so can we say pretty please? Will you give us independence? Not even close. So if we get a bigger army power projection, it will be minus 60, or if we get an even. And so, 
I really don't know how we get out of this. Like, uh, in terms of, like, long-term play, I mean, we just have to eclipse their economy entirely. We have 2.8 mil, and they have, uh... Their GDP will also get bolstered a lot by our involvement. They have 57 mil. So we kind of have to get up in that territory, I think. That, uh, Indian territory. I think... We're going to rebuild the construction center soon here. Why don't we just put it at the end of the queue? Once we finish the railway, we'll go have a go at it. Notice now these are the most profitable and they're employing a lot. So this is why we built them, even though Mechanized Workshop is just such a good tech uh, for this type of thing. But, yeah, it's just very strong. It also drives up demand for our tools itself, so it's, like, it's circular. Just a very productive building as well. We got this 33% throughput. We really wish... Oh, we do have the trade unions bonus, so that's nice. Um, not the most legitimate. The problem is we can't put the landowners in government. Because uh, they have zero clout. Uh, and so... We really wish that this guy was different, and we might switch off of oligarchy. Uh, just like it, so, oligarchy would be much, much better if we had an industrialist leader or intelligentsia leader or even a trade unionist leader. Um, but we don't. We can up law enforcement a couple notches. It's ten per level. Let's just up it a little bit. It's not like we're planning on tanking our standard of living. It's been pretty flat but it's always nice to have full up at two notches. And I th think trade unionists are happy with this hot damn, but they're just barely happy. Yeah, this is a really nice bonus. I think we're gonna call it a session here. Um, it's been a pretty productive session. We just did the starting steps for, uh, you know, playing as the Indian territory, which has largely just been both passing laws and trying to build up here. We notably have Four uh, things set up here. We The first one we're going to get rid of is going to be promote social mobility, which we might do in order to switch off of oligarchy. This is maybe a plan for next episode. Because uh, we can't quite get the legitimacy range we want in order to get the approval rate we want on uh, all of our loyalists. Actually, we have a good amount of loyalists, though, because we have such a high standard of living. Uh, the plan is going to be to build tall uh, more as we turn a corner in the future, you know, to get a larger throughput bonus and just be the manufacturing hub of the United States and hope that they supply us all the natural resources and we supply all the production. Now, long term, I'm not exactly sure how we get out of from underneath them because we don't, we can't support like all this rural stuff ourselves with an economy super super large off of one state very very easily and the only person who if we do get out of the united states market we could like trade with is like mexico and the u.s so this is going to be a weird situation we have to conquer a whole chunk of the u.s so i'm not sure exactly how we do this uh, but this is going to be a problem for future peter not today peter um, but for now we've also enacted almost every single law that we want uh, and can have at this juncture at this point in the game uh, other than we do want private health insurance but that'll be that'll be next time you know we have the very important ooh I thought we opened these borders okay this has been a horrible mistake uh, we should have open borders and our population should be just shooting through the roof and so uh, uh, very awkward very awkward I could have sworn I had opened the borders uh, this is what you get when you do practice runs too many times. Uh, all the runs just meld together, but we do want to do that. Okay. Um, awkward. Anyways, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It does help out. And uh, have a good one.